My, the squirrels are excitable this morning. Intruder! Intruder! It's all right, Watley. Sherlock Bones, I need your help. What is it, madame? My precious Sandy has run off. I can't find her anywhere. Please, will you help me get her back? Indubitably, miss. That's what we do. Where did you last see her? At my house. It was around 10 a.m. I was watching the Veal Housewives of the Baskervilles when I heard the back door. When I came to look, Sandy was gone. I see. Any idea where she went? Well, she usually comes and goes as she pleases, but this time she didn't come back. So no, I haven't the faintest. Can you describe what she looks like? She has white fur, broad the mostly brown face, and cute triangle-shaped ears. I got it. Wally, those are rectangles. Anything else you can tell us about her? She loves food, that's for sure. Ma'am, we'd like to inspect your home for any possible clues. Of course. Well, thank you. Wally, let's make haste, shall we? You could really use a good dusting, you know. Oh, thank you. Wally, there's a pussycat in the neighbor's window. I think we should go see if that cat knows anything. Whoa. Good day, pussycat. May we ask you a few questions about a missing dog? Yeah, all right, come in then. What is this smell? It's tuna fish. Have you seen this dog? She lives next to you. Looks about as ugly as any dog I've ever seen. Why, I oughta... Watley, calm yourself. Cat, where were you this morning at 10 a.m.? Watching the squirrels from the window, that's all. Hey, are we done here? Yes, I think so. I don't trust him, Sherlock. We should arrest him. On what grounds, Watley? Do we even need justification? It's a cat, Sherlock. Nonsense. But did you notice his accent? Yeah, he talks like a real alley cat. Exactly. What are we looking for exactly? Not sure. I just feel as detectives, we should just visit an alleyway. Found something! Watley, that's just garbage. Wait a minute. Watley, what day is it? Well, I do say, it's Tuesday. Right. It's rubbish day. Ah, fiddlesticks. What? I forgot to take out the rubbish this morning. So what's your theory, Sherlock? I do believe I've got it. The cat said he was watching the squirrels at 10 a.m. Same time Sandy went missing. Meaning, Sandy must have not been in the backyard if the squirrels were still out and about. So where did she go? She must have gone to the front of the house. The owner said Sandy loves food. By my deductions, she must have gone for the garbage, given it's garbage day. Well, moment of truth. Let's see if she's in here. Ah, bollocks. Shoot. Something doesn't add up. How would she even get up into the rubbish bin? I don't know. Maybe same way we got up. Can't be. As I said, Sherlock, cats are always guilty. Wally, maybe you have a point. Remember when we went to visit the cat? It smelled of fish. How could I forget? So, maybe she didn't go for her rubbish bin, but for her neighbors. How'd she get in? The cat. He planned it. Notice how he had a dog over. He set it up by the rubbish bin. And when Sandy went up it, lured by the smell of fish, he closed the lid, trapping her in. Well, let's go! I was right. And so was I! 
our payments, madame? Mm-hmm.